every morning we say in davening, Ashrenu ma tov chalkenu, uma nohim goralenu, uma yofa yerusha seinu. Limra Torah is described in three ways, chalek, goral, and yerusha. Chalek describes akinyin Torah, as we ask in Yibon Rishol Olam, v'sein chalkenu v'sarasecha. Goral refers to a lot, to a mission, to preserve and protect the purity of Torah. Yerusha Seinu describes the transmission of Torah from generation to generation. We review our Talmidim, we look befrat at our honored Musmachim, and the Hanola Sa Yeshiva proclaims, Ashreinu, Matov Chalkeinu, Uma Noim Goraleinu, Uma Yofa Yerusha Seinu. When I first came to Yeshiva, I was looking for a Yeshiva that had both great Rebbeim, great Rosh Yeshiva, that had constant contact and influence on their Talmidim. And I was looking for a Yeshiva that the Talmidim were a Chavra, that had a close Kesha with each other. I was more than surprised when I came to Yeshiva Sarachayim that they had all of those qualities that I was looking for. The Rosh Yeshiva were involved in my life, they affected my life, they guided my life, and they gave me invaluable advice that I use till this day. And it also had tremendous chevra that I keep kesher with, a lot of the approach that I have to my Talmidim is the same way that my Rebbeim approached me. The care, the concern about the personal life, and my, when I try to guide them and give them advice, usually through the same eyes that my Rebbeim and my Rosh Yeshiva tried to guide me and give me advice. They gave me an approach to life that I use in my, in my daily life and I use as the same approach that I try to approach my Talmidim with. I decided to do smicha in the first place because I thought it was uh, good for me in terms of regimentation, um, a set of goals to fulfill. Uh, I've been learning for Ruch Hashem a number of years, but this was uh, an opportunity to, to start and complete an entire entity, and I thought I would draw a tremendous uh, sense of reward in having done so. The Limud, in general, is transformative. The, the learning of Halacha, uh, especially the Ian, uh, is, has a very uh, fulfilling sense in that you're able to uh, go home, uh, apply some of the limud that you've done, which is sometimes perhaps a little bit more challenging in some of the more esoteric areas of limud. When I received my smicha, I felt uh, a true sense uh, of reward, uh, pride in the many years of yeshiva education, sacrifices my parents made in uh, having uh, raised me in such a derech. The Ruach of the Yeshiva is not just inside of the Yeshiva, but also uh, extends to the community at large, which we benefit from as a family so much. Baruch Hashem and Yeshiva Sarachayim have the opportunity already to be Marbet's Torah to the, to the 12th graders and to be Madrich them in their quest to, to be the best Yedon they could possibly be and to learn, to steig. Receiving smicha, obviously I felt a sense of accomplishment, but at the same time I also felt a sense of achrayis, of responsibility. And now I'm a greater representative of Yeshiva, representative of Avodah Hashem, and as such I have to act accordingly. Either Hashem, I hope to continue to be Marbet's Torah and to influence one Hashem at a time. One piece of advice I would give to anybody is to believe in yourself. And don't worry about what other people saying, don't worry what your Yetzirah tells you. Just go for it and keep shagging and do the right thing, and you too can get there. Whenever I'm in the car with my children, my two-year-old son sees the Yeshiva and he says, Tati the Yeshiva, Tati the Yeshiva. Even my two-year-old son knows that the yeshiva is the focal point of my life. This is where I spend most of my time, most of my days, most of my nights. Summer, winter, it doesn't make a difference. My children know, my family know that the yeshiva is where I put my kaychas into. And the Ezer Hashem, I think through putting those kaychas in, showing the Bachim that I care about them, and that I love them, and that I love them if they're my sons. I would try, only try to, to get the best for them. I think the, the Bachim realized that I care about them, and that I just want to help them to shag. And the Ezer Hashem, I hope to be able to continue to helping the Bachim shag. Learning halacha in general is applying Torah to our everyday lives, teaching you how to take what you learn and to apply it to the way you live your life. Um, it's something very different than just learning Gemara. Obviously, Gemara is very important, and, but halacha is taking the Gemara and 
allowing it to transform the way you live your life. And by getting smicha, so that gives you the responsibility to make sure you know how to do that. Well, I like, I like talking to Rabbi Finkelman, the mashkiach. He's, uh, he's always, uh, he gives a vat on Friday, it's about Shalom Bias, and he's always very practical in how he, in his tips to uh, help married people and I guess single people also in how to to get along with other people and particularly so um, that's something that I've gained tremendously from and I appreciate his uh, guidance and counsel I also think that the smicha in general um, hopefully is an inspiration to other people that they should also set goals in general for their learning and getting smicha inspires inspires people to uh, to follow that example of, of learning with a goal, learning to come out with something tangible. I completed my smicha requirements uh, shortly prior to this last Pesach. I had embarked upon the smicha track as an incentive to learn halach lemaisa, to understand the sugyas that we have encountered in Shas throughout our yeshiva careers. I feel myself as an, not only as a Ben Torah now, but as very much an uh, ambassador to B'nai Torah at large, to the Torah and what it represents, and a, uh, a greater cry is to comport myself accordingly and to devote myself fully to Limon HaTorah. When I received Smicha, it was, I felt a tremendous sense of accomplishment. I felt I had hit a plateau, that I had uh, mastered certain Chalik and Torah, but more than anything, I, see, I saw it as a machayev, as a springboard to really push myself to grow further. Smicha to me represents two things. Firstly, it represents the idea of a person in Kala Yisrael being connected to the, and the link in the Shalshal, Hamasara of, of Torah, Torah Misinai. And more than that, even though this is not the original Smicha from Moshe and Yoshua, but still, nowadays, has many practical ramifications. The world we live in is a world of Torah and mitzvahs, Olam Hasiya, the Bali Mutzah right? And it's important that Klai Yisrael has people to guide them, to mentor them, and to teach them what to do. Living as life as a Torah Dikayid is the most important thing that there is in this world. Orachayim to me is not just a, a mashpia, a yeshiva that has hashbaz on myself. Because when you talk about hashba, you talk about an outside fact or an outside force affecting somebody else. I've been learning Yeshiva Baruch Hashem for the past 11 years and uh, almost all my Lomoid and my now Lulamid has been a direct cause of the Yeshiva, the Roshi Yeshiva and the Hanhala. And to me, the ability to learn and be connected to the Yeshiva is a tremendous zechus and a bracha which I have. It's changed myself, changed my family. And, and the Torah that I learn and the, the, the Ruach that my family sees that comes from the Yeshiva into my home is the direct result of Yeshiva. And for the Musmachim in general, we always have to remember that all Das comes from a Kaddish Baruch Hu, as it says, Mipiv Das Usfuna, that everything comes from Hashem, and we have to always be Mispalo, that the same way He gave us this Das to reach this Madrega, He should continue to give us Das and help lead us live the correct lives and help guide other people in the right path. I learned in Orchaim for two years as a Bachar, and then I went to learn in Eretz Yisrael, and when I came back from Eretz Yisrael, I knew that the place I had to come back to was Orachayim. Orachayim had always been a home to me. I was very close with all the Rabbayim there. And just the general atmosphere of Orachayim made it very clear when I came back from Eretz Yisrael that this was the place I had to be, this is the place I wanted to learn, to get smicha, and continue with my studies. Orachayim has always been a wonderful place in instilling me not only with the Torah learning but the life values as well. Orachayim has been something I've been able to carry with me to wherever I go. And in recent years, as I've begun pursuing a Parnassah, Orachayim has always been a part of me and in realizing how important it is and how essential it is to be Mekadei Shem Shemayim in everything I do. The Orachayim Yeshiva experience has changed my life. It's allowed me to realize how important it is to take your Avodas Hashem in everything you do. Of course, the learning was always the Iker, was always the focus, but through the Hadrach of the Rosh Yeshiva, the Rabbanim and the Mashkiach Shlita, it was always clear that everything you do has to be part of Avodah Hashem. Wherever you go, everything you do, every part of your life, your friends, your food, your pursuit of Parnassah is always done with the same goal 
of Avodas HaKodesh, of, of doing the, being the Kadesh Im Shemayim. I spent nine years in Shuas Orchaim. I decided to do Smicha to broaden my knowledge of Halacha, and to this day it benefits me in terms of my ability to be Torah. I give it a weekly Halacha Shir. Smicha also gives me a sense of responsibility to review my learning, to maintain my learning, to maintain especially my knowledge of Halacha, and I feel it to a greater extent because I have Smicha rather than if I didn't. Baruch Hashem, my experience in Arachayim was a, was a great experience. Um, I think the, the thing that stands out the most to me is the presence of the Rebbeim there. You know, the Rosh Yeshiva were always there. Uh, Rabbi Lander was always in the front of the base manager, always easy to talk to and learning. There was always Rabbi Finkelman was always downstairs, uh, accessible whenever you had uh, an issue you needed to speak to. Rabbi Rubin generally was there till, uh, you know, towards the mid, the end of afternoon Seder. Rabbi Kaplan was always there for learning. Rabbi, in the morning, Rabbi Kraus was always there. It was just, it was just a, uh, that part of the experience always stood out to me as being very special, like the exposure to the Rebbeim and the ability to, to tap into what they had to offer. I think the, the, the biggest thing to me is that having smicha is different than any other profession because uh, it changes your whole focus of life. You know, whereas uh, if a person might be a doctor or a lawyer, it doesn't change their being, it just defines what they do. But having smicha, I think, changes your being because you're, you're, it, it's another uh, mo motive to, uh, to constantly be aware of a Kaddish Baruch Hu and, and uh, you're, you're representing a Kaddish Baruch Hu and when you have a, almost the title in front of you, I guess, that makes you even more aware and cognizant of how you act and, and what you do on a regular basis. I spent about six, six plus years in yeshiva here. I chose Or Chaim because it had a uh, feeling of warmth. When I met the Rosh Yeshiva, I knew it was a perfect place for me. Um, there was a love and an achdus that was apparent from the get-go, from the beginning. Um, being that I had spent six years in the yeshiva, I had the unique opportunity to forge a relationship with all the rabbeim, all the talmidim, all the Kolol Avrechim, and it was really an experience to see everybody come together and just basically striving for the same goal through Achdus, through Ruach, through, you know, obviously Yer Shemayim and striving to become better B'nai Torah, better Yer Shemayim. And it was really, it was a unique opportunity that I got to spend so much time in Yeshiva and forge these relationships. I wanted to I guess attain that ability to lead in Klal Yisrael and receiving smicha was one of the steps to become a leader. When I approached the Nasi Yeshiva Zuchar Levracha, Dr. Lander, to sign my smicha, he told me, Moshe, you're now becoming a manhig in Klal Yisrael, you're now becoming a leader in Klal Yisrael. And that means you have to lead, you, have to, you are a role model and you have to reach the potential that you are now endowed with. And oh, every single day now I teach a hundred plus Talmidim and I hope to be able to live up to those expectations. Getting smicha um, has you know, given me training to, um, to be the type of father I want to be, the type of balbas that I want to be, and the type of home that I want to have. Professionally, as a social worker, um, and somebody who works primarily in the from community, I have a perspective in not just some of the mental health issues that I address in my work, but there's a lot of overlap between mental health issues and religious issues that as somebody with smicha, I have more understanding and sensitivity towards, um, which is one way I'm going to be able to help my clients. I started learning halacha even before I started going for smicha. For uh, several years I was learning different topics in halacha, halacha bi'in, and I really enjoyed it. So uh, for, for me, smicha was sort of a natural out, outgrowth of, of that lima. I'm considering going into uh, the rabbinate, so that's one reason I do smicha. But even if I don't, I feel like smicha is something that 
will have a very big effect on who I am the rest of my life. And now that I have smicha, I know people are looking at me differently, and I know that I have to act differently. Don't let me smile.